Hello guys, today we're going to make a castle using this cube. First select the cube, go to edit mode, then we're going to add loop cuts in the x-axis and in the y-axis. So we're going to add six loop cuts for each. Hit Ctrl R, then hit six. So we add six loop cuts in the x-axis, now the same for the y-axis. Ctrl R, then six. Then after that, change this to face selection, then we're going to select faces, okay? So first select the face in the edge, this one, then jump one face and select another one. Then jump another uh, jump this face and select another one. So do the same thing until you reach here, okay? Make sure you jump one face in each selected face. Okay, so there must be one unselected face between them. Okay, I think we're done. So make sure that every face you select have a face that is unselected between them okay so we select our faces now hit e then z so we're going to move the extruded faces into the z direction okay i think this is enough okay so after we select the faces hit e to extrude the faces then move them upward okay move them in the z direction now we're going to add a loop cuts for each of uh, faces extrude face so we're going to add four loop cuts for each so hit ctrl r then four hit ctrl r then four so do the same for all of the extrude face so we finished adding the loop cuts for each of the extrude face so now we're going to add a loop cut for this one, okay? So hit Ctrl R, then add six loop cuts in here. Then change this to the face selection, then we're going to select faces in here, okay? So I want to select these faces and this face. Hold Alt, then select in here. Then Shift Alt, hold. Hold on in the Shift Alt, then select this. So. We select two rows of faces okay now hit a then s so we scaled the extruded face okay, i think this is enough just a little bit more okay it's good now change this to the edge selection then we're going to select this bottom edges okay so hold alt then select one edge in here so it selected all the edges in the bottom. Now hit S. Let's make it small like this. Okay, I think it's good. Now hit Control P to add a bevel. Then drag it like here and hit the plus button in your keyboard to add a cuts in the bevel. Okay, I think that's good. So after we select the edges, hit Ctrl B and as you hold it, hit the plus button. So it will add a cut or a loop cut in the middle of the bevel here. Now let's move to the top part, okay? Do the same thing, hold Alt then select one edge in here. So it selects the top edges in here. And do the same thing, adding a bevel, Ctrl B, then drag it here. You don't have to add a cut or a loop cut because it are added itself okay we add in here so it will add it in here too okay i think it's good go to object mode let's see it okay it's good okay let's go back to the edit mode now we change this to the face selection then hold alt and select here so we select the face in here, all face of this extrude block, okay? So after we select it, hit E, then S, then 1.4. Okay, so the size is 1.4. After you select the face, hit E to extrude, then S to scale it, then 1.4. Okay, scale it with 1.4. So and do the same for the bottom one, hold Alt, and select in here so you select the bottom face 
now hit A then S for this we're going to use the value 1.2 okay for the above one we use 1.4 for this we use 1.2 so do the same for the other blocks too okay the same thing we do here do the same thing for this one this one all of them okay do the same thing so I'm gonna speed this video so do the same thing as as you see before Okay guys, finished for all of them. So for the top of the faces we use scale 1.4, for the bottom only we use 1.2, okay? After you select the faces, make sure you extrude them, okay? Select the face, then hit E to extrude the face, then scale it. The top one is 1.4, the bottom one is 1.2. So after you finish this, changes to the edge selection now we're going to select edges okay so we're going to select the bottom edge for the top one okay so this is the top one face and this is the bottom face so we use the bottom edge for the top one okay so hold alt then select one edge in here then hold shift alt then select this one as you hold the shift alt just select the edges in here okay So we finished selecting all the top face edges okay now we're going to add a bevel so hit ctrl b then drag it like here okay so if you don't have these cuts as you hold as you hold dragging the bevel hit the plus button in your keyboard so it will add these cuts okay so we finished for the top one now we're going to move for this one for the bottom face okay, we're going to select these edges okay so as we do before hold alt then select one edge in here then hold shift alt then select all edges around okay now we finish selecting the edges now do the same thing Control b then drag it to here if you don't have cuts like this or edge loops if you don't have edge loops when you hit ctrl b just hit the plus button in your keyboard it will add it okay so i want a little bit in here i don't want it to be big like this okay i need the small part of it okay now let's move to the object mode and let's see what we what it looks like okay i think it's good okay we finish this one now let's move for the bottom one okay so we're going to have an arc doors or an arc frames in here so go to object mode let's add a cube shift a mesh then we need a cube scale it down s then drag it to front okay now let's go front view Okay, let's try it to front more and let's in the front view to go front view hits one okay i think let's get it more like this okay, now changes to the wireframe so we're going to measure the area okay so make fit these faces okay Let's fit inside it G to the X, move it in the middle and move it down in here. A little bit this. Okay, I think this is good. And we need I think let's move this to here. I think this will be good. So let's move it to this face middle part. So we'll add another for that, okay? So hit shift D to the X axis. Then move it like this. In the middle of this loop cut okay and this cube in the middle of this face okay so select this face change this to the normal view so we select 
the first queue then go to edit mode then go to front view change it to the wireframe then shift D to the X axis so we duplicate the cube to here so move it just to in the middle okay like that one okay and make sure we have a middle face okay a gap okay we need that gap okay now we finish duplicating it change it to the normal view now change it to the face selection then select the top face then select the other top face shift select this then go to edge bridge edge loops then in here we're going to increase the number of cuts into maximum okay i think it's good now go to front view and hit g in the in the z direction g and z then drag it like here so i think it's good yeah okay it's good go to object mode let's move it a little bit down okay it's good okay we finished the first arc now go to front view select the other cube go to edit mode then do the same as we do for this arc okay shift D to the X and move it in the same position like the other one okay in the middle of this loop cut and this one too in the middle of this loop cuts we want to be equals we change this to this face enough select the top face of both cubes select this one and shift select this one then go to edge bridge edge loops then in here increase the number of cuts to maximum go to front view G Z and move it to the Z axis okay guys I think it's good let's go to the front view okay let's go to the object mode and let's move it this a little bit down okay it's good then select this one to select both arcs then let's move them inside this castle okay G to the Y axis and you make sure a little bit of this arc must be outside okay I think it's good half of it is inside half of it is outside okay I think it's good now we're going to add a loop cuts for this one okay so hit ctrl R then add two loop cuts top face ctrl R two loop cuts Control R, two loop cuts. Control R, two loop cuts. Control R, then two loop cuts. Okay, I think it's enough. Go to object mode. Okay, select the castle, then go to modifier tab in here. Add a modifier, a Boolean modifier, and add another one too. So we have two Boolean modifier. For the first one, select this arc. For the second one, select this small arc. Then hit apply all so let's hide these arcs to see the result so it cuts with the shape of the arc so this is what we want okay guys now we're going to extrude the inner faces in here select the caster go to edit mode then click in the empty area the select of them now we're going to delete this the door one so we want the door to be open okay so select this face okay let's change this to the face selection okay select this face shift and select this this one then in here shift alt select faces here and shift select shift select this one and also select these faces here make sure all faces are selected in here okay I think it's good then hit X then delete face so now the front the door part is open okay I think this is good the front part is open now now we're going to select the, the castle and go to 
S mode then hold alt then select one face in here and shift select this face shift select this face and do the same for this one shift alt hold shift alt then select one face in here so it selects the faces that we want so we're going to extrude them to the front okay so hit E then to the Y so let's move them to the outside I think that's enough okay it's good let's go to the object mode and let's see the result okay so that's what we want it's enough for now so now add a cube shift a add a cube scale it down then let's move it to the front g y and move it in here a little bit down okay that's good then g to the x and g z Okay, S Z. Okay, let's scale it to the Z axis. It will be smaller. Then let's take it inside. So G to the Y and move it backward. So it should be also inside. Okay, I think that's good. And let's move it to the X axis a little bit. It must be equal. Just adjust it as you want, okay, but it must be in the middle, okay? You can leave it here or you can adjust it more, okay? It's up to you guys, okay? So for me, it's enough in here. So select the cube, go to edit mode, and we're going to add a loop cuts in here. So hit Ctrl R, then add four loop cuts. So change this to the first selection, then hold Alt, then select in here, so we select the faces that's on the top of this row on this row okay then we're going to select the other face to in here so shift alt then select in here so we select two row faces so now hit e and scale s then 1.4 so do the same for the bottom one too alt hold alt then select faces on the top then shift alt select the bottom faces in here okay then hit e then s 1.2 just do it as we did for this one okay it's the same thing so this will be the decor for the entrance in the door so we're going to add a bevel so change it to the edge selection tab in here hold alt then select the top edge in here the top edge in here so this is the top face that we extrude in the first with 1.4 so the bottom of this face we select the bottom edge of this, this face okay then hit ctrl b then drag it right here a little bit smaller like this i think it's good and hold down then select for the bottom face so we select the bottom edges for the bottom face so do the same thing control b then drag it like here a little bit okay, so it's good so let's move to the object mode then let's see the result so i think it's good but let's scale it down it's too large yes then scale it like this okay let's see it just scale it a little bit then G to the Y yeah okay I think it's good let's move it a little bit to that side okay now let's mirror this into this side okay we, I want it this to be in this side too so go to modifier tab add modifier then mirror add a mirror modifier then select the caster so make sure it's in the x-axis if you for you if you don't come if it didn't come in the x-axis changes into the y-axis so now i think it's good decor is good for me now so let's duplicate it then add for this arc to select the decor go to front view changes the wireframe 
so hit shift D in the Z direction and move it to the X direction then let's move it down in the Z direction then G to the X so put it in the middle of the arc okay it must be equal okay so change this to the normal view then let's see the result okay I think it's good to yeah so we finish for the castle now let's move for the walls okay let's make a walls for this castle now let's add a cube for the walls shift a the cube scale it down move it to this side g to the x let's go in the front view scale it in the z axis and g z let's move it down and let's move it to this side and let's move it to the back must be at the back of the castle okay like this and scale it to the x axis as x okay just stay a little bit here okay, it's good let's move it here then go to edit mode then i'm going to add two locates in here control r then two then scale them okay so we add the locates with the selected locates sheet s then to the x axis so let's make them wider okay it, Okay, I think it's good. Now change this to the face, face selection tab in here. Select the top face in here. Then hit E to extrude the face in the Z direction. Then extrude it a little bit like this. Then we're going to make this extruded face like this one. Okay, so hit Control R, then add four loop cuts. Then hold Alt, first change it to the face selection hold alt then select all the faces in here then hit s then 1.4 first we have to extrude it e then s 1.4 okay. okay and for the bottom one hold alt then select in here then e then s 1.2 for the bottom one okay change it to the edge selection then select the edge for the top face okay then hold alt then select the bottom face in here then hit ctrl p drag it like this okay i think it's good then do the same for the bottom face hold alt then select the bottom edge then hit ctrl p I'm going to add a little bit in here not too much okay for the bottom face just add a little bit okay let's move to the object mode and let's see the result so i think it's good let's move it to the back yeah so we're going to make this uh, wall look like a circular in here so we should add first shift a then in the curve add a circle then scale it then move it forward to so y okay i think it's good and let's move to the front view and let's drag it down a little bit in here Okay, I think it's good. Okay, now select this wall, add a modifier, an array modifier. Okay, so increase the counts to 10, something like that. Okay, we're going to edit it after we add the curve modifier. Okay, so add a curve modifier. Then the curve modifier is the object. Pick this one and select the circle. So it will make it round okay then we're going to add increase the counts in here for you if the direction is not uh, as you want change this the axis in here y negative z negative x negative y just try one of them it will work for you for me it's in the x axis okay so in here they are not equal so i will decrease one count in here then hit s and just join them okay i think it's good okay now go to front view and let's scale it a little up s z and let's move like this okay 
put a wireframe and drag it. It must be equal in the ground with the custom. Okay, change it to the normal view. Okay, I think it's good. Now let's make the font door for the wall. Okay. Okay, so we have a canvas in here which we unhide them so we're going to use the smaller one okay so let's see which one is the smaller one i think this is a smaller one select it then g to the y let's move it to the wall okay move to the front view let's scale it up and it must be in the middle of the wall okay so move it to the middle of the wall like here and let's scale it up a little more and make it in the middle of the walls then move it up a little bit okay I think that's good okay let's move the top view hit 7 to move to the top view change it to the wireframe and select the arc then let's rotate it RZ make it equal okay guys so I think it's equal move it a little bit to the Y okay now let's change to the normal view okay now both sides are in the equal rotation now select the wall apply all now select the arc then let's scale it into the Y axis okay S then to the Y axis and let's move it to the Y axis so it must be outside in the both sides okay so we can see the arc in here and we can see it in here too let's go to the front view let's check it's in equal side I think it's good Okay, now select the wall, add a modifier and boolean, then select the arc, then hit apply. Then let's hide this arc. So as you can see, it cuts through it. We have face in here, so we're going to delete that face. We don't need it. Select the wall, go to edit mode, then change this to the x ray, then select this face then x delete faces so like this x delete faces so we don't need them so let's turn off the x-ray so we have a gap in here it doesn't fill it fills only this side so we have to fill the gap in here so we should add a look at in here add 10 look cuts. then we should change it to the vertices okay so I think we have a vertex in here so we don't have need these edge loops but just leave them all leave them there okay so select two four words to fill select this the last one this one shift select this one shift select this and shift select this one then hit F and okay, now go to edge tab select the last edge then hold F until it fills all okay so it fills automatically okay first fill the last vertices select four vertices and fill them then after you fill them changes to the edge selection then select the last edge then hold F until it fills all the curve so I think it's good okay so we had six look cuts in here 10 look cuts in here but they are not useful for now so we finish our wall so this is we make a castle let's make the castle big I think it's too small so scale it I mean first 
select the castle then shift select the decors then hit s to scale it and move to the front here move it like this i think it's good yeah okay i think it's good and we have to add faces in here select this go to tab the changes to the face selection then select the faces that will live in the middle shift shift okay now we select all the faces now hit e then extrude them a little bit up e to the z and i think it's uh, yeah i think it's good so i think it's good now let's remove this curve in here so it's sharp so i don't want it to be sharp so I'm go to edge mode change it to the edge selection then hold alt then select one edge in here and do the same for the other three hold shift alt and select the edges shift alt select the edges in here shift alt select the edges in here then hit ctrl p so if you don't have cuts as i told you before hit the plus button in your keyboard as you hold this bevel dragging arm okay so i think this could go to tab so it makes it smoother i think it's good and there is a sharp thing in here so hold alt then select the edge in here then hit control b Okay, I think it's good then for this one to hold alt then select this one hit control B then it will add the loopets. Okay, I think it's good. So let's add a plane in here. S also front view, let's move it downward like here. So let's see the result. So if you want to make smooth these walls, select the wall, go to tab, add a loop cuts for each of them in here. Or select the faces in here, then go to face tab in here, then shade smooth. Okay, so it will shade it smooth, it will make it smoother. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this tutorial and have a nice day. Bye.